on siphoning. Um, I've been asked a couple of times what the best way is to siphon your homebrew from one vessel to another. Now, if you're watching this, you've probably got a starter kit from Wilco's, probably got bought it as a birthday present or something like that. And they probably give you a tube that looks like this. So the best way or the best way to get use out of this is to basically get rid of it, rubbish. Um, what you could really do with is one like this. So we have a tap on one end and we've got a little kind of sediment trap on the other one. Now you can use the other one. This method that I'm about to show you to siphon, um, you can use both. Um, I'll explain that as I go along. But this is going to be a lot cleaner and a lot easier. So first rule, don't suck on it. No, there's no need, it's unhygienic. It's no, so basically stick one end under a running tap and I'm going to put the other end in the basin on the floor just to catch the water obviously, I don't want to flood the kitchen or get me in trouble. So I put the end in the basin, other end under a running tap and the idea is I want to fill this with water and make sure there's as little air in as possible so you want a clean flow of water through the pipe and I'm just going to stop the tap, this tap, while it's filled with water and that will hold the water in the pipe, you'll see. So I'm going to slowly close the tap. And I don't know if you can see, that's not filled with water. You can see a lot of bubbles in there. And because I've closed the tap, the water can't get out. So just to give you an example, here's a, a glass of water. I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to open the tap. Now what you need to do, this is very important. Make sure the tap or the open end. And if you wasn't using a tube with a tap on, instead of opening and closing this tap to hold the water in, you just cover it with your thumb. So you have your thumb on the end of there. I'm going to open this tap now, but you need to make sure that it's lower than this end of the tube because the gravity is going to pull the water through. So watch and see. So I'm going to open the tap now. And you should be able to see it's draining the water from the glass. So obviously what I'm going to do now is put this end into one of my demijohns. Trying my hardest not to disturb the sediment. Now what I do normally do is just have a tea towel ready. Got to try really hard not to disturb the sediment at the bottom. And I just put the tea towel on the top to hold it all in place so it doesn't move afterwards. So I'm shoving that in there. There we go, and then just push that down just till it gets to the bottom. There we go. And the tea towel should hold that in place. Now, I don't know how well you can see the tube, but when I open the tap at the bottom now, obviously it's going to pull the water through, which in turn is going to pull the wine through. So hopefully you'll be able to see that coming through now. There we go, and that's now wine. Simple as that. All you do now, get your bottle, put it on the other end, turn the tap. Bladders, doesn't matter. So there you go, simple as that, and a lot more hygienic. If you've got any questions, if you need any help, give us a comment, give us a like anyway while you're there. That'll do. See you next time. We'll